Welcome to the fifth episode of One Minute Games. Let's make the blocks mechanic from Minecraft. Like and subscribe and stick to the end for this bonus project with Minecraft physics. Let's create a bedrock with a cube 20 by 20 in all directions. On a new material, add Unity's default checker texture, tiled 10 times on both axes. Next, create a dirt block with a little bit of grass on top. Let's remove the default colliders from subcubes and put a new box collider on the parent object only. Create another block with only edges for an outline. Again, remove all colliders. In the end, we can create a UI image at the center of the screen as a pointer. If you use a custom texture, it needs to be set as a sprite. Create the script and we can start coding. We are gonna make a first-person perspective and we can imagine we are the camera. To look around with a mouse, we need to rotate the camera around the X and Y axis, also called pitch and yaw. We can check how much the mouse cursor has moved each frame and use that number to increase or decrease the camera angles. For camera speed, we can use Vector2 to hold both speed settings in one variable. When changing values over time, we must multiply them by delta time to compensate for frame drops. Apply the rotation angles. At the end, let's lock the camera to the screen center. We can move around by the left, right, up and down arrow keys, but to use E and Q to fly up and down, we first need to set up Input Manager. Let's copy the vertical input and name it Fly. Set only Q and E for positive and negative button options. Now we can get value from the appropriate input axis. Before changing the camera position, let's define a direction in which to move it. For forward direction, let's use the camera's direction. But let's make it flat with the floor plane so that we don't move up or down if the camera looks that way. For the side movement, the camera's right hand direction is already always flat. And for flying, we need a simple up direction. We can combine the inputs in the directions we've got in one final move direction. This changes based on keyboard presses. Use it to change the camera's position with a certain speed, controlled by the public variable from the inspector. Now, to place the block, we first need to find the point we are looking at. We do that by shooting a ray from the camera in the direction it is looking until we hit something. With gizmos, we can visualize these virtual rays and points. We can also see the direction of the surface. Now let's create some blocks at that point. First, let's put the ray casting code in the if statement. We want to create a block only if we are looking at the surface. Then move the block outline to that position for a preview. And only when we click the left mouse button do we create a new instance of a block prefab. And with the right mouse click, we can delete the object our ray is hitting. But let's make sure we only delete objects that match the block's name. Now we can create blocks and also remove them. This is already cool, but it's not how Minecraft works. Let's snap blocks to the grid in the final step. 
We need to take the position and round down its components values to whole numbers. We can see the blocks are aligned, but they are offset. It's because their origin is at the block's center. Let's move the position for half a block. That's better. There is one last fix needed. Sometimes blocks are created overlapping each other. It's because the race hit point is so close to the grid edge that there is a rounding error. We can fix that by simply moving the point away from the surface a bit before we round it. We are done! We have made the basic Minecraft blocks mechanic. Play around with adding custom tools and features like block selector, digging delay or procedural terrain generation. We can play around with adding physics to the blocks and try other experiments. Go on Patreon to get code for these improvements and find other projects. Like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you and see you next time.